Hi Andrew, I thought I'd make a quick video saying what I thought went wrong with the crash that you posted about the other day. It looked like to me that the gear strip whilst going from normal flight mode to flight mode 1 and because of such a huge difference in your throttle curves your gear strip creating vibrations and as you might know your fly bias units don't like vibration at all and they carry on do all weird sort of shit. Um, I'm going to show you how I set up my throttle curves and prevent this kind of thing from happening. I'll show you how to set up your throttle curves on your radio. I'm just using my DX8 here for example. Alright, so what you do, turn it on, um, go into throttle curve settings and this basically is my standard setting that I would use for most of my um, helicopters. So what I've got here is on the low is zero. 25% um, equals 65, so that's about that far. It goes to 65%. The reason I do that is because most speed controllers have a soft start built in, so it's not going to jump straight to, um, to 65%. Um, then the next one, 76, 85, and then 100. You might want to lower some of those values if you're a beginner or however you prefer to fly. Then how I do my next mode, um, flight mode 1, is 100% straight across. I don't use governors or anything like that, I just fly them exactly like that. And same with flight mode 2 and um, hold is also at 0. But what you want to steer away from is having like this going down to 40% um, and have 40% as a value on the rest of these um, points here. So if you were to have 40 uh, and 40-ish here again, um, it's going to create some quite big issues for your gear, like what happened with you, and um, other things as well. It's pretty hard on your just helicopter in general. The gyro probably can't keep up with a huge um, change in power like that when you're going from like 40% to 100% straight away. So that's why you would set up flight mode 1 as a sort of a middle range kind of thing at like a flat 75. Um, then flight mode 2 is like your fully sick mode, if you get what I mean. So Andrew, that's how you set up correct throttle curves on your helicopter. If anyone else would like me to make a video on how to fix things or anything like that, um, feel free to hit me up, send me a message, whatever. Uh, I'll put a link to my Facebook and my YouTube account, which you probably already know, um, in the landing gear below. So until next time, catch us later.